Quite a scene out at Southwest, Southwest District Health today. We told you about a group of protesters who pushed into the building demanding to be able to be present for a public meeting. Well, because of COVID concerns, that meeting was set to be a virtual one. The public was provided a link to which they would with in accordance in accordance with the current Idaho code. They could watch the meeting take place and even participate. Now, there are a lot of different stories about what actually happened yesterday, but videos across social media paint a pretty clear picture. And now we're hearing from Southwest District Health about what happened at their office and what the next meeting will look like. Here's Joe Paris. Probably around 8, 15, 8, 20, we started getting messages in the boardroom that there were um, escalating um, issues ha occurring outside of the outside of the building. By 9 a.m. Thursday, the scheduled meeting for Southwest District Health was postponed because of safety concerns. We hadn't anticipated any escalation of protests. We really expected to have peaceful protests with people present. Nikki Zog, director of Southwest District Health, says they expected people at their building early Thursday to make their voices heard. Other health districts have seen similar situations. But as videos across social media show, things early Thursday were much different. At some point, uh, some of the public tried to force their way into our clinic area where we were seeing patients um, to gain access to our meeting room, which is further inside the building. A lot has been made out of the crowd coming into the lobby of the building, but the concerns were actually more centered on the clinic inside. We offer clinical services such as immunizations, uh, women's infant and children or WIC program services. We have um, a medical clinic. Certainly um, our staff were frightened by the event and as well as clients that, and patients that we had in the clinic. While a lot has been made of the shoving and yelling inside, Zog says a vast majority of people were respectful. Staff wanted the public to be able to watch their meeting, so on the fly, they worked to set up a video feed in their community room so people there could watch. So that was available, and those individuals, from my understanding, that came in and, and sat in that room were, uh, again, very respectful and um, kind to our staff, and we very much appreciated that. Of course, the meeting never got started after the board chair called off the meeting after consulting with Caldwell Police on scene. Now, they will hold a rescheduled meeting Tuesday morning at 830. Board members themselves will be meeting remotely, but the public will be allowed to come watch a video feed at the office. There's an expectation that people will wear face coverings if they choose to go inside the building. Staff is also working, though, to set up a video feed outside if people do not want to go inside and wear a mask. To be clear, it is not a foregone conclusion that the board will even vote on a possible mask mandate. Zog says one of the goals of the original meeting was to discuss health information with medical leaders and to get an idea of where they could go. It's the same idea heading into Tuesday. Not necessarily implement public health orders that day. Rather, they probably um, direct the district to draft orders for Central District Health did it. They listened to some health experts and hospitals around the area and got a good idea, then kind of consulted and talked about it for a week before they drafted their plan and kind of put it out there for the vote. But I want to know, Joe, if those people would have just put on a mask yesterday, would any of this have come up? Well, uh, even if they didn't wear masks, Brian, it's very possible that if they would have just gone into the other room and just watched the Zoom meeting on the wall uh, that was being projected, that this whole thing could have been avoided. But that's all hindsight 2020. Again, on Tuesday morning, 830 in Caldwell. If you want to wear a mask, you'll be welcome inside the building. If not, again, they're going to have that alternate setup outside. And Brian, that's actually one of the suggestions that people had yesterday during the entire situation saying, why do you do this outside? Well, in the moment yesterday, they couldn't just on a dime flip to do that. But Tuesday, they will be prepared. All right. Well, it's good to see that they're being at least a little bit more accommodating. Thank you very much, Joe.